So, winter's coming in, it's getting cold. What could be better on a cold winter's day than a really nice, warming, creamy tomato soup? And you know what? This is dead simple to make. This tomato soup has got a tiny amount of calories. I'll give you all that information up on the website and you're only going to need um, a handful of ingredients. And all of the ingredients for this soup, I bet you you've got them all in your cupboard right now. Go and take a look. Okay, so we've got our pan here on the stove. We've got our two tins of uh, chopped tomatoes, one tin of baked beans, and we've got some pickled onions, mini pickled onions. We're gonna need five of these and some of the juice. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna get these ingredients into this pan, and we're gonna get it cooking for about 20 minutes. Yeah, that and five pickled onions. And five of those bad boys and a splash of juice just for good measure. There we are, so get that on the heat um, and leave this now to cook. Once you've got it bubbling, leave it to cook or simmer down for about 20 minutes or so, so those onions, um, beans and tomatoes will be nice and soft. So while they're heating up there on the stove quite nicely, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and get ourselves a bunch of basil. Now, I've got myself a basil plant uh, in my kitchen. You can use dry basil if you want, but I would recommend using fresh stuff. So let's grab a bunch of that. We're gonna throw that in, uncut, stalks and all, straight into that pan. And there we go, we've got our basil. What we're gonna do is just gonna rip this, throw it straight in the pan. There we are, so while our um, soup is um, simmering away here on the stove, what we're going to do is make about 350 millilitres of vegetable stock. Um, I'm going to use um, some veg bouillon, which you can buy in any sort of supermarket. So 350 mils of this. So one tablespoon, one good heat tablespoon of veg bouillon. And there we are. This has been cooking now on the stove for about 20 minutes or so. And it smells pretty delicious. So what we're gonna do at this point is we've got a food processor here, okay? And if you don't have one of these food processors, you can buy one on my website, okay? Um, it's up in the kitchen shop, the website's up on the eye button um, at the moment. But get yourself a food processor from wherever, and we're gonna to wanna to blitz the hell out of the contents of this pan. And once that's all been blended uh, to a pulp, we're gonna add that back into the pan. So 
So at this stage, really all that's left to do now is to add our 350 millilitres of vegetable stock. And bear in mind with this, if you want a thicker soup, add a little bit less, make 250 or 300. I'm using 350 because I found that it gives you just about the right consistency. And once we've added this, we season it up with our salt and pepper, job done. Yeah, and that's looking and smelling pretty delicious. Okay, so it's just left to season it up now. And I'd just like to point out that I'm really pleased with this recipe because as you can see, I'm wearing a white t-shirt and I don't have a splash of tomato on me. It's a small miracle. Salt and pepper, finish this off. So a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. There you go, get this served now with some lovely crusty bread, fresh out of the oven. Doesn't get any better than that. And that is the best tomato soup I've ever tasted. Not just because I made it, it's beautiful. That will rival anything you can buy in any shop. Fantastic.